everyone, I am here with my July favorites video. I haven't done a favorite video for a long, long time. And I'm just so excited to share all the stuff I've been loving for July because July is my favorite month. Because first, it's my birthday. Uh, I had an amazing birthday with my family, friends. They got me so many, so many goodies and I can't wait to show you guys. Yes, this year I'm gonna film a what I got for my birthday. I mean last year I kind of skipped it and I, I always film what I got for my birthday. So I think the tradition should continue. And then for July, we are finally getting warm in Toronto. Uh, finally, we're hitting double digits every single day. It's nice outside. Emma loves summer. And I can't believe July already passed. And I have some amazing goodies to share with you guys. So let's get started. First, I want to talk about the Takami Serum. This is like a Japanese brand. I discovered this online. A lot of Japanese bloggers and the Japanese beauty gurus always recommend this serum and I have never heard of this brand before. And I decided to give it a go. Oh my god, this serum is so 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 good guys. For me, this feels like a exfoliating serum. If you watch my video long enough, then you know I have humongous pores. My pores are like the size of an apple. That's how big they are. This can exfoliate your skin. And a lot of people said this will help with pores. And of course, I got it. It comes in this like glass bottle with this like teardrop applicator. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like the consistency is like water. It doesn't look like your traditional serum. Of course, it's not greasy. How do I use this? Let me tell you guys. So you use this serum right after you wash your face and right before you apply your toner. So right after I cleanse my face, I'll just use uh, three or four drops of this, put it in the palm of my hand, and then just apply it all over my face. And this is the tricky part. You have to wait for like two or three minutes to let it, you know, dry up, to let it work its magic. And then at the meantime, usually I just wash some brushes, like I'll wash one or two brushes. And then I use a cotton pad with toner to wipe everything off. And then I just continue my regular skincare routine, right? So I'll just use my eye cream, night cream, yada yada yada. With everything is done, you know, this serum is so gentle. You don't feel like it's exfoliating. You don't feel like it's changing your pores. It, it just doesn't feel like anything, it just feels like water. And you will notice a significant difference in the morning, the next day. My skin will feel so soft like a baby's butt. My pores will be gone. And it's just honestly really, really good. It's a really, really good serum. And see, I'm already like halfway through. You have to get it so good and it's so gentle on the face it doesn't really cause any irritations because it's an exfoliator you know a lot of exfoliator do cause redness but this way it doesn't it just feel like you're putting water on your skin i don't use this every day but you can if you want but i don't i just use like twice or three times a week that's how i use it love it and I think I have discovered my all-time favorite foundation. This is by the brand, I might be totally butchering it. I'll have the name on the screen. It's called Wacom Cosmetic. 
I don't know. I got this in Italy. I did a Italy haul video. If you haven't watched that, I'll link it down below. And please make sure to take a look because I got so many goodies. I never heard of this brand. Being me, I love to try out new makeups. And at this store, when I went in, it reminded me a lot like like Mac Cosmetics store. And then I got this. It has SPF 37. Honestly, I got it just because the associate recommended to me. I didn't think it was this good. I'm wearing it on my skin right now. Oh, my skin. I'm wearing it on my face right now. It's a very, very natural foundation. I mean, the color 03 Beige Dorato. I believe it's Italian brand. Oh my god, it has like a velvet finish, but it's very sheer, but at the same time it has coverage. Oh my god, it's my perfect, perfect foundation for summer. For summer, I don't like to wear anything like full coverage. I'm sweating a lot, I just want some like breathable, you know? I just want my skin to breathe. I just want my skin to breathe. It's like a BB cream but with a little bit more coverage. And it has SPF 37, but I still wear separate SPF. What I love most about this is, oh my God, it blends in so well. A lot of foundation just look really cakey on me. It doesn't feel like it's my skin, but this one, it does. Like this foundation, when I wear it, it feels like my skin. When I walk by, a mirror, I'm like, woo, damn, you have good skin. Because it blends in so well. It takes a little effort, like this much effort to blend my foundation. It's so good. Uh, it works well with a brush, it works well with a beauty blender. Oh my God, it's so good. And the lasting power is crazy. I usually wear this like for like 12 hours. My foundation will still look so good. That's without me putting on any like setting powder or setting sprays. And it's just so lightweight. I honestly don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my skin when I'm using this foundation. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful foundation. It takes like 30 seconds to blend it. I'm just like, what? Really good. It's called, oh my god, I haven't told you guys the name yet. It's the Wacon Cosmetic Natural Skin Foundation. I believe it's affordable as well. It's, it's not like expensive or anything. Love, love, love this. The month of July, I've been loving the color red for some reason. Like, I just love red. I don't know why. You can tell from the top. Like, I love, I love red. I don't know why. Like, usually I'm very like boring when it comes to dressing myself I usually just go for like black gray white blue like blue denim that kind of thing but this month I love red I just want to pack all sort of different red on my face on my skin on my body I don't know what happened I don't know what's going on I think I discovered my favorite uh, eyeshadow palette it's by naked skin oh naked skin it's by Urban Decay. It's their Naked Heat Palette. Even the name. It's very like summery, like heat. Okay, and the packaging. Love it, love it, love it. It just looks so retro, looks so expensive. You can tell, like, even if you don't know Urban Decay as a brand, when you saw this palette, you would know it's something really high quality, something really high end. Honestly, I think that this might be my favorite um, naked eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, this is the only palette I've been gravitating to for month of July. Look at the color, they're just so beautiful. I'm on a hunt for a perfect um, burgundy palette for the longest time. And honestly, this is it, man. A lot of red undertone palettes will always have like one or two really off colors like like one or two really weird colors but this oh my god i can literally use every single eyeshadow in this palette love it it has a little bit of brown for the base some like beautiful beautiful 
shimmer, red, undertone, burgundy eyeshadow. Oh my god. Needless to say, Urban Decay has one of the best quality eyeshadows out there. So, love this palette and I'm wearing the eyeshadow on my eyes right now. This is the only eyeshadow palette that I've been using. I can use every single shade. And they're so pigmented, and they're so creamy. You're getting 12 eyeshadows. If you do the math, they are actually pretty good. So, this is one. Oh my god, I love it. My favorite shade would be Heat Devil, Dirty Talk, Lumber, Naked. One palette was my favorite palette before this came out. This one, the packaging just wins because it doesn't get dirty. It still looks really new and it looks so sturdy, you know? Like, it just... Damn, Urban DK, you did a good job. Really good. Love this. Like I said, I've been loving the color red. I don't know the color. It's like red. It's like satinish, like red. Or like, I don't know, this is like, this this is not red red, right, compared to the top I'm wearing right now. But this is like a, a satin raspberry kind of color. Oh my god, I love this top. I think I got this at Aricia and then I'll, I'll have a picture right over here or somewhere to let you see. Uh, oh my god, this top is so cute. Cut off shoulders or... Like, you know, it shows a little bit of shoulder, but at the same time, it covers my, you know, arm because I'm still not really confident with my body yet. It really makes me look skinnier than I actually am. I wore this to my godson's 100 day celebration. A lot of people complimented me on this top because it just hides everything, but still shows a little bit of skin. It's just a really beautiful top. I wear this usually just with like a denim top or you can do a skirt, like a leather skirt it would be so cute. So, oh my god, so cute. I love this. This is literally on repeat for the month of July. Because I love that top so, so much, I went to Rissia to get something else and I got this long skirt. This is what it looks like and uh, the cutting of this dress, I'm gonna have a picture somewhere on the screen. Right below uh, like the boob area, it has like this really nice cutting to it. I don't know how to describe it, but it will make you look like, see this part? It looks like a really simple dress, but it's actually not. You know, this color looks so good when you're a little bit tanned. And then the material, it's just so soft on the skin. And then right under the boob bitch area, there's this like, like cutting. I don't know, it just makes you look taller and longer in a way. It looks like a simple dress, but it has a lot of like cutting, like structuring going on, so really like this. I usually wear this with like a kimono or something because I really don't like to show a lot of shoulders or like, you know, the back. Love it, love it, love it. Because I'm in love with the color red so much this month, honestly, if it was up to me, I would wear everything red. You know, everything red. The only two bag that I've been wearing for uh, month of July is first my like a pale pink by Chanel flap. This is what it looks like. I don't know how the color well picked up. It has it's like a salmon pink um, bag and it's patterned. This is the bag that I've been, I've been using uh, if I don't have a lot of stuff to carry. And then you know for summer you just gotta have a patterned bag. You just gotta do it. So I've been wearing this a lot. And for the rest of the month when I'm not using my classic flap, I'm using my Birkin. This is the size 30. 
because it's the color red. You know, I love it. And I have Twilly on the handles. And I think this size is really good. It fits a lot of stuff. So, and it's red. You know, I love red for month of July. I don't know why. It's just like a red theme going on. But yeah, I've been using this. I love it. I can give you guys a review or what's in my Birkin in August. I promise. I'll do that for you guys. But anyway, these are the only tea bags that I've been using for month of July. Love it, love it. I think the weather is nice. There's sun and we need some colors. So yes, and this is all for me today. So be sure to watch my what I got for my birthday. Um, I think that's the next video coming up. I got some real goodies, but thank you for watching. Um, Yes, if you haven't watched my Italy haul, I'll link it down below as well. Please go take a look, show me some love. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!